Greetings, fellow preppers. The importance of a well-prepared food stockpile cannot be overstated, especially in the face of potential food shortages. When supermarket shelves run dry and supply chains break down, it's your personal stockpile that becomes your lifeline. Building a robust prepper pantry isn't just about survival. It's about fostering independence and resilience. It's about being able to provide for yourself and your loved ones, even when the going gets tough. It's about having the peace of mind that comes from knowing you're ready for whatever comes your way. Whether we're talking about natural disasters, economic downturns, or any other unforeseen events that could disrupt our food supply, having a well-stocked pantry will always serve you well, so let's not waste any more time. Now that we understand why, let's discuss what should make up your prepper pantry haul. The heart of your pantry will be non-perishable items like powdered foods, grains, pasta, dried fruits, and freeze-dried products. These are the staples that will keep you going when fresh food is scarce, or even non-existent. Powdered foods, like milk and eggs, can be stored for up to 10 years if they're unopened and stored correctly. They're also incredibly versatile, allowing you to whip up everything from scrambled eggs to creamy sauces, all without a fridge in sight. Grains are another must-have. They're packed with energy and can also last for years when stored properly. Think rice, oats, barley, and quinoa. They're the perfect base for a meal and can be cooked up in a multitude of ways. Next up, pasta. It's not just a comfort food but a long-lasting, energy-dense food that can be stored for an impressive duration. Keep a variety of shapes and sizes on hand for different meals. Spaghetti for a hearty bolognese or small shells for a warming soup. Dried fruits are a fantastic way to get a hit of sweetness and a dose of vitamins when fresh fruit isn't an option. They can be eaten as a snack, added to breakfast cereals, or used in baking. Just remember to keep them in a cool, dark place to maintain their quality. Now let's talk about freeze-dried products. These are a bit of a wonder in the world of long-term food storage. From vegetables to meats, even full meals, these items can be stored for up to 25 years. They're lightweight, take up minimal space, and rehydrate with just a bit of hot water, making them a valuable addition to any prepper pantry. Remember, the key to successful long-term storage is keeping your food in a cool, dark, and dry place. And always remember to rotate your stock, using the oldest items first. Now that we have the basics, let's consider our personal dietary needs. Understanding individual dietary needs and preferences is key when building a prepper stockpile. It's crucial to remember that everyone's dietary needs are unique. Some people might need low-sodium foods while others may require gluten-free options. Perhaps you're catering for a vegetarian or someone with a nut allergy. All these factors should guide your food choices when stocking up. Now you might be wondering, how can I incorporate these specific dietary requirements into a stockpile? Well, the first step is to map out these needs clearly. List out any dietary restrictions or preferences and then research suitable long-lasting food alternatives. For instance, if you're catering for someone who's lactose intolerant, you might opt for powdered soy or almond milk instead of traditional powdered milk. If you're catering for a vegetarian, you could stock up on plenty of beans, lentils, and other plant-based proteins. Remember, a well-prepared pantry is one that caters to the needs of everyone it's meant to serve. With our personal needs in mind, let's move on to packaging. Properly packaging your long-term storage foods in Mylar bags and 5-gallon buckets will extend their shelf life. Now you might be wondering, why Mylar bags? Well, these shiny miracles are highly resistant to moisture and insects, and they block light, protecting your food from oxidation. And don't forget the convenience of portioning. With Mylar bags, you can easily divide your food into manageable servings, reducing waste. Next, we have the unsung hero of long-term storage, the 5-gallon bucket. Once your food is safely sealed in Mylar bags, these buckets provide an extra layer of protection. They're waterproof, rodent-proof, and durable. They also make it easy to organize and store your food efficiently. And no worries, I've got you covered. Check the video description for a link to the best Mylar bags on the market, Wallaby Bags. Use my code and save some money. Now we've got our food safely stored, let's ensure we're getting a balanced diet. Even in emergency situations, it's important to maintain a balanced and varied diet. You see, the body needs a mix of nutrients to function optimally, and this holds true even more when we're under stress. So, while building your stockpile, aim for a variety of food items to ensure all your nutritional needs are met. This means not just stashing away heaps of carbs, but also focusing on foods high in protein. Think along the lines of lentils, beans, canned meats or fish, and powdered milk or eggs. Let's not forget fruits and vegetables. Freeze-dried or canned, they're a great source of vitamins and fiber. 
And while we're on the subject of fiber, whole grains like oats, brown rice, and whole wheat pasta are a fantastic choice. Nuts, seeds, and oils are also essential, providing healthy fats and calories for energy. With nutrition covered, let's explore home canning and preserving foods. Home canning and preserving foods can be a great addition to your long-term storage. It's like having your own mini supermarket right at home, and it's another step towards self-reliance. Home canned foods like fruits, vegetables, and meats can retain their nutritional value and taste for years if properly preserved. They can also offer a delightful variety to your meals, breaking the monotony of dried and powdered foods. In terms of safety, it's vital to follow proper canning techniques. Always use high-quality, undamaged jars and lids. Make sure to sterilize your jars before filling them, and always process your canned goods in a water bath or pressure canner to eliminate any bacteria, yeast, or molds that could spoil your food. And don't forget, always label and date your jars. You'll want to rotate your stock, using the oldest first, to ensure quality and safety. Now, let's consider a renewable food source, gardening. Including seeds in your stockpile can provide a renewable food source through home gardening. This is an essential part of any robust prepper stockpile strategy. Why? Because it's not just about having enough food for the next week or month, but about ensuring food security for years to come. Imagine having a garden full of fresh vegetables, fruits, and herbs, all grown from your very own stockpile of seeds. Not only does this provide a sustainable food source, but it also brings variety to your diet, which is crucial for maintaining good health. Consider including a wide range of seeds in your stockpile, from staple crops like corn and potatoes, to nutrient-rich leafy greens and root vegetables, to herbs and spices for flavor. And don't forget about fruit and nut trees, which, though they take longer to mature, can provide an abundant yield year after year. Finally, we can't forget about the importance of water storage. Water storage and purification is just as crucial as food stockpiling. Picture this. You've got a pantry full of well-preserved food, but without water, it's like having a car with no fuel. You can't survive long without water, and it's needed for cooking most of the items in your pantry, so water should be a top priority in your prepping plans. The general rule of thumb is to store at least one gallon of water per person per day. This covers drinking, cooking, and sanitation needs. But remember, this is the bare minimum. In a crisis, you might need more, especially in hot climates or for those with specific health conditions. Storing water can be as simple as buying bottled water and keeping it in a cool, dark place. However, you can also store water in larger containers, such as food-grade water storage barrels or tanks. Whatever you choose, just ensure your storage method is safe and doesn't compromise the quality of the water. Now let's talk about water purification. In an emergency, you might need to source water from less than ideal places like a river or a rainwater catchment system. This water needs to be purified before it's safe to drink. There are several methods to purify water. Boiling is the simplest one. Just bring the water to a rolling boil for at least one minute, and voila, it's safe to drink. Another method is using purification tablets or drops. These are great for a bug-out bag because they're lightweight and easy to use. Just follow the instructions on the packaging. A more advanced option is a water filter. There are many types of filters, from small portable ones to larger systems that can purify gallons of water at a time. Some even remove viruses which are too small for many other methods to catch. Remember, water is life. So make sure you have a plan for storing and purifying water as part of your prepping journey. With that said, I'll catch you on the next one.